Bless you, saints. I want to uh, share this uh, article with you. We are truly living in the last days. We are seeing that. Um, it says, meet a mecca. The world's most advanced humanoid robot is unveil unveiled in a UK lab with yearly realistic facial expressions and movements. And so again, the most advanced human humanoid robot has been unveiled in the UK lab. And this is truly what the Lord warned us in the book of Revelation, in Daniel, and so forth, that he has told us that these days it will be like us in the days of Noah, my precious saints. It says that it may bear a somewhat uncanny resemblance to the terrifying creation in the Will Smith look blockbuster I, Robot. But this machine is actually real and has been billed as the world's most advanced humanoid named Ameka. It was created in a British lab and has eerily realistic movements and facial expressions. I have um, taken this from the uh, dailymail.com if you want to go there yourself. They've got videos that you can play on it and uh, it's really um, disturbing what the um, Antichrist is bringing forth, how artificial intelligence is advancing so quickly. So it may bear a resemblance of the terrifying creation of Will Smith, blockbuster, iRobot, but this is actually real and has been billed as the world's most advanced humanoid. And as you can see, the expressions of, uh, of its um, faces are very very realistic very disturbing and of course you got tech firms uh, willing to pay people thousands of dollars to put their face on eye on on these robots and so if a whole planet has been seduced by smartphones and selfies can we uh, begin to imagine how people are just going to fall for these lying signs and, and lying wonders as the Lord warned us in uh, 2 Thessalonians 2 and the book of Revelations 13. And so it says Cornwall based engineering engineered arts which brands itself the UK's leading designer and manufacturer of humanoid entertainment robots unveiled a machine on YouTube. And so um, it says many viewers express their amazement and how realistic the machine is and their eyes, their expression, their, their, uh, with their arms and so forth. Some people compared Ameka to the NS5 series from iRobot, a 2004 science fiction film starring Will Smith that sees intelligent robots fill public service positions in a dystopian world. And this is what they're building, the replacement of humanity, the mixing of uh, clay and iron, the uh, total corruption of DNA as it happened in the Genesis 6, the taking over of the human race and um, a great sign of the end times and so in the clip the robot it seems warming up its shoulder before opening its eyes and again you can go see these these uh, videos yourself they're just putting uh, clips to show you uh, what it looks like it's time for us to wake up and as the body of Christ to be rising up in prayer and standing up against the evil and, and, and the evil in this world and standing up for the Lord Jesus Christ, standing up for the Lord Jesus, for the cross, for the blood of Jesus Christ and, and warring in the spirit against these things. I know that, that prophecies will be fulfilled, but as the body of Christ, we got to stand for the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord told us to endure. He who endures till the end shall be saved. Amen.
And so uh, back to the article, it says, The preview ends with a mecha reaching out its hands and admiring its combination of mechanical limbs and ligaments, actuators, and sensor arrays. It is certainly realistic and at a forefront of its field in terms of its expressions, but the next challenge will be enabling these robots to walk around. So they're still in the development stages. I wanted to bring this to you and um, to open our eyes. We've uh, seen uh, Sophia, the robot that was introduced in 2016 with a very intelligent human-like, it's all uh, artificial intelligence driven and uh, the realistic uh, expressions of that robot that even got citizenship in Saudi Arabia. So folks, we're seeing the, the things coming together. We're seeing prophecies uh, being um, folded before our eyes. And we got to be close to the Lord Jesus Christ, have a real personal relationship with the Lord and, and repent and come to him and be about our father's business. I love you and I bless you. And until soon again, Lord willing.